Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Praise the Lord is the time to read Bible. This continues on Genesis forty-seven. Today we will go through verse twenty-one to twenty-six. Jacob and his family came to Egypt on the second year of famine, and lived in the region of Goshen, according to Joseph's arrangement. Joseph also provided his father and his brothers and all his father's household with food, according to the number of their children. Then the Bible recorded the last five years of famine, how Joseph helped Pharaoh to manage the land of Egypt, because there was no food in the whole region. All people went to Egypt to buy food. In addition, under Joseph's management, all the money, livestock, land, and even people belonged to Pharaoh. We could not live without food. If no food, money, livestock, land, and even people's sovereignty will be useless. The Bible recorded how Joseph managed people, in verse twenty-one, King James Version. King James Version, and as for the people, he remo he removed them to cities, from one end of the borders of Egypt, even to the other end. The Hebrew meaning for rem. Remove is plentiful. There are many meanings. For the verse, for this verse, NIV recorded as reduced the people to servitude from one end of Egypt to the other. All the people became servants to Pharaoh because because they sold their lands and even themselves to Pharaoh. In order to buy food for living, however, Joseph did not put all people in Pharaoh's in Pharaoh's palace as servants, but removed them to cities from one end of Egypt to the other. Therefore, the population in every city of Egypt might be averaged, because after seven years of famine, they could regrow, replant. The gr- the ground, and that the land might not become, and the land may not become desolate. Verse twenty two. However, he did not buy the land of the priests, because they received a regular allotment from Pharaoh, and had food enough from the allotment. Pharaoh gave them. That is why they did not sell their land. A group of Egyptians was special. They did not sell their land because they were priests. They lead all people to worship God, and they received a regular allotment from Pharaoh. Verse twenty-three. Joseph said to people, "Now that I have bought you and your land today for Pharaoh, here is seed for you, so you can plant the ground." Joseph bought the people and their land, my in the last few years of famine. So Joseph said to them that. They could go back to their land with the seed, so that, so they could plant the ground. Joseph had a vision from God. He knew the famine will be end soon, so the people could plant the ground again. In fact, Joseph bought the people and the land. The purpose was just transfer, uh, transfer, transfer. The sovereignty, the sovereignty belonged to Pharaoh, but they still could live, and even after famine, they could replant the ground. Joseph also gave them seed, which means, which means the life that could extend life. 
Then Joseph said to the people in verse twenty four, "But when the crop comes in, give a fifth of it to Pharaoh. The other four fifths you may keep as seed for the fields, and as food for yourselves and your households, and your children." Actually, Joseph rearranged the people's wealth because the gap between because the gap between rich and poor is growing larger. After a certain period of the after a certain period of the capitalist market, therefore Joseph had made the sovereignty belonged to Pharaoh. After the famine, he sent the Egyptians back to their land and also provide provided seed to them to plant the ground. In addition, when the crop came in, they should give twenty percent of it to Pharaoh. The other eighty percent they may keep as seed for their fields and as food for themselves. And their households and their children. Yesterday we have been talking about the best political system. The best political system is executive power, legislat legislative power, and the judic judicial power all belong to the Lord. In addition, Joseph had a vision from God. He followed God's leading, and managed the land of Egypt by God's will. Therefore, the whole system had been arranged because of the famine. He not only saved the lives of the people from the famine, but also gave them a better political and e and economic system after the famine, that all people had. Had seed to plant the ground after the famine, so Joseph became the the savior during the famine. Verse twenty five. You have saved our lives, they said. May we find favor in the eyes of our low, our Lord. We will be in bondage of to Pharaoh. The people not only had been saved during the famine, but also they had seed to plant the ground after the famine. They understood Joseph was their savior, so they were willing. They were willing to follow his rule to be Pharaoh's servants. Verse twenty six. So Joseph established it as a law concerning. Land in Egypt still in force today, that a fifth of the produced, of the produced belongs to Pharaoh. It was only the land of the priests that did not become Pharaohs. The fifth of the produce that belongs to Pharaoh is like our tax system now. When Joseph ruled the land of Egypt. All the land belonged to Pharaoh, and even the people's sovereign sovereignty, except the land of the priests that did not become Pharaohs. Joseph was not only the prime minister who managed the land of Egypt, but also he was the the lawgiver who made the law, and he was also the judge. In this chap in this chapter. Bible, the Bible tells us how Joseph assisted Pharaoh to manage Egypt during the famine. For another perspective, it also tells us when Joseph, when Jesus comes again, his nation, his kingdom, will be built up, and Jesus will become the major food provider. In addition, through his providing the whole land. Will become to God's sovereignty. The Bible also tells us this world. This world belongs to the to the devil. Luke chapter four, verse five and six. The temptation of Jesus. 
The devil led him up to the high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the of the world. And he said to him, "I will give you all their authority and the splendor, for it has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want to." This world is. This world is depraved. Satan became the prince of the world, so the devil has the has the. Authority of this world. There are two steps to overcome the prince of this world. The first step is in John fourteen verse thirty. Jesus said, "Said the prince of this world is coming. He has no hold on me. If we only focus on what we might receive from the prince of this world." We will not be able to be free from the devil's hand. We will be free from the devil's hand because he has no hold on Jesus. Next is in John sixteen verse. John sixteen verse thirty three. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome. I have overcome the world. Therefore, in Jesus we might have peace. Jesus not only overcome this world, but also built up the church by giving, by giving us the Holy Spirit, and the church refers to His kingdom when He comes again. All people who received the salvation should stay in church to practice His kingdom life. Therefore, our spiritual life need to grow. We need to be mature to prepare His coming. There are visions before the coming of Jesus, and had been recorded in Revelation. There are the visions of the seven seals, the seven trumpets, and the seven bowls. In addition, there are one thousand two hundred sixty days. The great The great tribu, the great tri tribulation, during the end time, God will not only judge during during the great tribulation, but also He prepare this world just like He used seven years of famine to prepare the land of Egypt, so that the Egyptians, money, livestock, land, and their sovereignty. All became to Pharaohs. Likewise, during the end time, the sovereignty of the of this world were trans were transferred. First, God's children, God's people, those who have fallen asleep in Him, will rise again, and those who are still alive will be cut up before, before, during. Or after the great tribulation, and become God's people in the heaven. Next, after the great tribulation, the remaining Israelites will be saved, and they will become the priests, leading the people of all nations to worship God. In addition, the people of all nations will also experience. The same situation like the Egyptians, in order to buy food, to live, they will give away all their money, their livestock, that the tools they use for living, their land, and finally they need to sell themselves to buy food. Therefore, in the thousand years. All the money, all the livestock, all the land, and all the people in this world will all belong to the Lord. Genesis forty-seven not only tells us how Joseph assisted Pharaoh to manage the land of Egypt during the famine, but also let us understand how Je how Jesus will build up His kingdom 
at his coming. For us now, we're still involved in this world, so it's not easy for us to say Satan has no hold on us, so that we will not be able to overcome. We will not be able to overcome this world. However, the Bible also tells us that they are. For things in this world that take control, of, that take control of us, first is money. We understand to use our money to buy the spiritual food. Then we won't be controlled by money. Second is to consecrate the livestock, which means the tools we used for living. For example. Our knowledge, ability, and the talent. Third is to consecrate the land, which means our resource, giving the land to God to buy the spiritual food. Finally, is ourselves, consecrate ourselves to the Lord. Our old self is still too rigid. The only thing we could do to get rid of our old self is not trying to do better, but only consecrate ourselves to the Lord. There is four stages of consecrate. We will be free from each of them only if we consecrate. One day we will become the people of God's kingdom, so we have to understand our wealth. Belongs to God. Our skills for living belongs to God. All of our resource belong to God, and even ourselves belong to God, so that God's will could be fulfilled on us. Let's pray, O、oh、Lord. Thank you for leading us to see the vision of Your kingdom. Mercy to us. When we are learning to consecrate, give grace to us. Please help us to consecrate what we are. What we are not able to give away. Help us to belong to you. Please help our lives to become your testimony. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.